I'm sitting here today with my patient, personal trainer and friend, Andrea Logan. And we met three years ago when she had injured her neck. She had an old fusion in her neck at one level many years ago. And then the other two discs next to the fusion degenerated and failed. And Andrea is a professional athlete trainer. She trains everyone. She's one of the most amazing physical trainers you could ever meet. You can follow her on Andrea Logan Fitness. But anyway, she came to me with degenerative discs next to her fusion that had failed. Yeah. And you were in horrible pain. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yes. So we did artificial discs above and below that three years ago. Yeah. And Andrea sent me a video of her doing handstand push-ups like three weeks after surgery. I didn't approve that, but she was, <laughs> she was doing it anyway. So she was amazing, and she made a beautiful recovery. And then when was it that you had that? You were carrying your nephew, right? Yeah, um, last August I was carrying my nephew. He um, battled seizures, and he was falling down some steps. It was 14 steps, and I went to pick him up. And when I did, I did like this and I slipped. So the middle of my back just kept hitting the stairs. And I thought, oh no, I've just bruised my spine. I let it go until I think December when I came to see you. And I said, maybe it's my neck. <laughs> I need to get it checked. So I came back to the one person I trust the most and we did all everything. And he said, well, you've uh, cracked the bone in your T5. Yeah. And he said the only way it's going to be fixed is with surgery, but we postponed it because I really didn't want to uh, go through surgery again. So I'm five weeks out and I'm being able to do, I'm following orders, no handstand push-ups, um, listening to this remarkable person. And that's where I am right now. So was what happened was when she fell carrying her nephew on, and hit the staircase going down and you went down Many stairs, your foot went through the wall, yeah, I think, did, right? Yeah, it did, it did. It was pretty dramatic. Yeah. And you're, she's one of the strongest people I know, um, really hurt herself, and she can take pain well. And this actually was thoracic five, which is right between the shoulder blades, which is a very vulnerable area, because everything we do at thoracic five, it's right between the shoulder blades. So when you pull forward, all the ligaments pull right off the thoracic spine. So operating there is very scary for us, especially in an athlete like you, because the fascia, or the, the, the silver part of the stake, the fascia that holds all the muscle together, you know, normally we cut vertically, but that would be a disaster for you because that would want to tear apart. So whenever I operate in that location on athletes, we make the incision side to side through the fascia and then don't use any cautery and dissect and we got out that little fractured piece of bone. I think we tried three injections on you, yeah, which yeah. made you feel better. We tried to get yeah, it to heal. We did. Man, yeah, but it just, it just yeah, wouldn't heal. Yeah, no, and so. so we removed it and I sutured her up. So knowing how <laughs> athletic you are, and I don't trust you, you know, <laughs> so I really reined her down. But at five weeks now, I'm letting her do some forward pulls, and they're going fine? Yes, going really good. I'm following doctor's orders. I'm not, the only time I'm sore, I just feel tight. But um, I'm coming along fantastic. Week five, so I got three to go. Is the old pain gone now? Yes, the old pain is totally gone. Great. The break is no longer there. But I do have something to say about it. So... While I was in the um, bed waiting to be operated on, the uh, I was talking myself completely out of the surgery, like I've been dealing with it a long time in my head. The anesthesiologist came in and I said, what do you have to do if you really want to check yourself out? And he looked at me like, are you serious? I said, yeah, what do you have to do? All of a sudden, I'm not kidding, here comes Dr. Lamb and walking. He walks away, then he comes to my bed, he puts his hand on my arm, and he says, you know I'll take real good care of you everything just went away and if y'all only knew what this man means to me but honestly that day oh, it you. just went i was talking myself out of it and so, <laughs> but it all just went away so, so he's amazing so we got it fixed yes all right then the next three weeks so in three weeks from now you know i'm going to turn you loose 
and you're going to be able to do whatever you want to do. Yeah, also you know, right? every every video possible. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll climb ropes and yeah. she'll do all kinds of crazy things. All right, so um, I will be working out with you soon, I hope. Yes, yes. And you're training my wife now, Gretchen. Yes, and she's a lovely, great. lovely lady, working hard. So I appreciate yeah. that. And um, then we're going to turn you loose in three weeks, and then we'll really work hard, hard together. All right, Because okay? yes. I want to get back yes. and safe, too. Yes. Because yes. I just had surgery myself. We need to get him healthy. So, we need to get him moving correctly. Yeah, we will soon. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right.